Hello everybody, my name is Wachara, and this is Mega Games Tycoon 2, another episode of my Let's Play. In the last episode, we released a console exclusive for our handheld. It is not selling well, we are losing money. I should probably stop making console exclusives, unless I have a console that has insane market share. 5% market share is not enough. Um, of course, it doesn't help that we're also in the middle of a video game crash. So, um, we're only getting half the sales we usually would per console and games. Um, we also re released Lucera Hockey. We're chasing the trend. We're doing a sports game. Well, sports is the trend, so hopefully that does well. It's only our second sports game, so it's not uh, was not an awesome game. So the plan for today is we're going to make an action game once um, some of this contract work and stuff is done. Um, is that all I'm waiting for? I guess I could just do it right now. I don't really need to do this contract work. But I guess all the other rooms are... Er, no, I was waiting for this, right? I think... <laughs> anyway, so I also noticed that both my break room and my uh, bathroom and over here as well, this break room, this washroom, they're generally pretty full. So this extra big chunk of real estate that I have, I just added an extra break room and extra bathroom. Obviously, it's good for the people that work over here. Um, there are sound people are in training and some of them don't benefit from training, so we might as well just pull them out of here. Like you and you, anything over 90 essentially doesn't benefit from the training um yeah so i don't really want the people that work here to be going all the way here to go to the bathroom but it's not much i can do about that it is what it is all right so see i think i'm waiting for this and most of my teams are busy while we wait for that all right so marketing so let's do what have we not put a demo out for most things um, War is bad, we did. So let's go with Extinction first, I guess. Publish a demo. Okay. So yeah, so we need one one hype. So we need this engine thing to be done, and then we need to update the uh, the engine, the action engine, and then we will... So you know what? I'm at 21 or 20 people in here, which is usually fine, because usually somebody's going to be on break. Um, So, you know, all the desks are not actually going to be full, but I mean, I have a 23 seat development room over here i might as well just put them there right all right so free update for we'll chair hockey nice and early nice early update get them to do that while we wait for this all right so one of our subsidiaries game came off the market we did not make much but hey we made something right better than nothing i guess right and why am i looking for an office worker i thought i was supposed to be looking for graphics people not sure why <laughs> Or did I want to look for office workers for for my new support team? Yeah, yeah, no, no, I do want office workers. All right. So let's do another demo here. Um, Dwarven Ruins, I guess. That is my exclusive. All right, what do we got? Do we got a new console thing? Oh, there's a marketing support person. Welcome to support team. We have a... We have a tech level five stay steering console being made right now. Um, and basically as soon as that's done, we're going to make a tech level four handheld as well. So that'll be two new consoles. So hopefully that will help our profits as well. And sound team is still training. All right. Everybody up here is idle, which is not good. We do not want to have this many idle teams all at once. It's poor planning on my part. All right. 50 to 70 estimated rating. This is... Wow, what tech level is this that they're putting this on the Qatari 2600? <laughs> like, this came off the market eight years ago. Okay, well, you guys can publish that one. I don't want anything to do with that one. All right, what else can we research here? Console feature, remote control support. All right, so they're almost done with that. So this group can actually move into this room which frees up some extra desks. Now, is there any good game designers we can throw in here? Oh, yeah, look at that. All-rounder, all-rounder, two all-rounders. That's exactly what we want for a game design room. And a couple programmers would be nice as well. Got a couple programmers. Let's throw them in there. All right, 2020. And let's update this action engine. No, actually, let's wait and do that with the other group. We will do a free update for... We're already doing a chair hockey. We could do another one for Dwarven Ruins, but I kind of want to just let that game die. <laughs> nah, we'll do an update. All right, so 
they're done so then we can do the engine the old engine action engine all right so tech level five tech level four five and five so we might make this action game a tech level five game because we have three of the four right at, at that point it's usually worth it and this way we can make it for our new console as well take advantage of that and even new graphics because of course as soon as we make a new engine a new thing for the engine comes out because that's just the way it goes all right so we made almost seven million from our subsidiary off that game which is good i have 350 million in the bank right now and the video game crash is over as well which is nice and more another 17 million from our subsidiaries because i have like four subsidiaries now right i could probably buy some more with all this money in the bank i have so are are they growing in market strength they must be 69 million oh yeah we can buy you for sure no nope, they do not want to get bought what about you 160 million sure hudson welcome aboard welcome to the team about data west we had a good relationship with them back in the day surely they'd want to be under our umbrella there we go perfect all right so let's do let's do a paid add-on let's do a paid add-on for war is bad i mean none of these games really are worth a paid add-on is the problem right so maybe let's not do a paid add-on let's do some engine stuff um do we have an engine for everything yet i feel like there's gonna be some engines i i, I don't think i have a fighting engine do i fighting game engine i do not have a fighting game engine you know what that means we do now all right so best tech level five best tech level four we are done making tech level three games I believe so those will not be included in our engines any longer um let's go personal computer we'll call this the punch engine perfect all right so we need you to hurry up and be done yeah this is god that's a big waste of time I'm going to be in a situation like this where I'm not making a game in my main room. Oh, we got a legendary game uh, graphics designer, which is perfect because we need some. There we go. All right, the two of them. So, yeah, so if I'm in a situation like this where I'm not making a game with my main group, I need to be making an add on with my secondary group so that all these rooms could polish that so that they're not sitting idle like there. So, that was that was poor on my part. Oh, yeah, so this is why I'm making an action game. It's the next trend. That makes sense. <laughs> that makes sense. All right, so let's grab this modern 3D graphics. And action game. Let's go with a sequel. We'll go Alien Android 6 or whatever we're at there. This is obviously not in alphabetical order, so let's change that. And it is 6. I was correct. Computer and console. AAA action. Androids. All that good stuff. Should I do AAA? Yeah, let's do AAA. Go Action Engine. Now, the question is, is there enough Tech Level 5 consoles out there? We got the Sigurim Cast. Let's grab that. Sigurim Cast, sorry. So we got... Where's the PC? Right at the top. And then we got the Macintosh. We got the Game Station 2. And we got the Lucera Box 180 coming in hot. Got to make sure we have a game for that ready to go, right? So we are not good at this graphic stuff. That is okay. That is not the end of the world. Everything looks locked in here. I assume those are right. 52 <laughs> features. That is a lot of features, folks. That is a ton of features. So we got 60 hype right out of the gate. Just realized too we do have space in this room for a couple more people but nobody's jumping out at me as being a good fit for in there so we will leave those seats empty for now and we got a new sound chip and a new graphics chip it looks like i mean graphics audio
pretty good bet that's a graphics and sound chip. So let's uh, get going here. High quality animations, Andro Alien Android 6. Some high quality graphics. Improve the gameplay. And let's improve the sounds. High quality sounds. Perfect. How's this console coming? 64%. So that should be out by the time this game is ready. Right? Hopefully. And we might as well bug fix with these folks as they come in. We do need to market this a little bit. Where are we at? You know, Android 6 TV. We'll do TV, two TV spots. Get that to max. Perfect. All right. So we got an empty room here. So I'm going to leave this empty. Um, if my research or console teams. Oh my God. One to 10% estimated review rating. Oh, I'm so glad those are all going on my consoles. Yeah, you guys can publish that one. Yeah, so if my console or research team aren't occupied, we can throw them in this third development room, right? In theory. Yeah, my customer support team is having trouble keeping up, even though I've added to the team. So let's add another one. All right, large booth. Um, well, we're actively marketing this already. So let's just do everything else and go with the Luchar Cube and Luchar Go, I guess. Yeah, that should be good. All right. Beautiful. They're done with that. All right. So let's grab this new hardware, I guess. We, don't, we need the screen. We need this touch screen. Now, once this is done, we'll be able to make a tech level four handheld. Alien Android 6 lost a lot of sound points. Piece of music for the current game. Too closely resembles a hit from the charts. To avoid a lawsuit, the piece of music was removed. Boo earns. Let's do another update for Lucera Hockey. This is selling fairly well. I mean, sports is the trend, right? For another 12 weeks. What do we got? We got a legendary sound artist. Let's snatch them up. Now, the question is, do I have any room in my sound room? I do not. So you can go in here. Because sound is important in here. I mean, game design is probably the most important, but sound is still important for that room. And we got another marketing person. You're hired. Go and customer support. Probably get one more ops worker in there, I would say. And then we can probably try to find somebody else in a different room. No, nope. um, this console exclusive is not... <laughs> I mean, it may have sold some consoles, so it may not have actually lost quite that much money. But, yeah, that's, that's not great. <laughs> Alright, there's another marketing support. Surely the things start... Um, this queue should start going down instead of up, right? All right, so we need we need a programmer. Let's look for a programmer here. Specialized programmer. Beautiful. All right, so this should be at 100 hype. It is. Console's already at 100 hype. Of course, I mean, I could hype up the chair queue, but once our new console comes out, sales on that are going to start going downhill, right? So, not sure if I even want to really do that. Did market research come back? It came back action again. It's uh, cause that's only eighty percent accurate. But if you do it twice and it comes back the same results, chances are that's what's going to be right. That's why I look at it anyway. So let's just get War is Bad back up to hundred hype with the TV spot. And research is done. So let's yeah, let's grab this some of this fancy Tech Level Five hardware. Why not? Nothing else for them to do. All right, we got a new programmer. High level. You can go in there. Perfect. All right, this group is not doing anything. Muzzle well blast through some commission work. And I'm going to update... Wow, they really did blast through it. I'm going to update my uh, RPG engine because I will be making an MMO soon. Soon.tm. Not sure exactly how soon, but it will be coming. 
So that's RPGs, RPGs, RPG on the that. RPG Engine 5. We haven't made an RPG in a long time. We made a lot of RPGs early on, and we've really gotten away from those. All right, so thank you very much, Subsidiary. So yeah, right now, I don't really have a, a real hit on the market. Right? Like, sure, Hockey's doing fine. War's Bad's doing fine. Puzzle Pets add-on's doing fine. So yeah, so that 1-10% to 10 review game... That uh, did not go well. That did not make me a lot of money. All right, so we don't need more programmers. Let's see if we can get... Is our QA room full? Yes. Sound is full. Oh, art. What? Building game is the trend? Well, never mind. I was convinced it was going to be action. You let me down. You let me down. Uh, marketing team. Tisk tisk. That kind of sucks. Alright, well, let's get some overhype ready for alien androids. I expect this to be good. I expect this to be a 95% review score. Well, you know, hmm. I say that, but the, um, the lack of experience with the engine things probably gonna knock it down a bit. Alright, well, overhype didn't go through. Made a little money from our subsidiary. I mean, it's not like we're losing money right now, right? I mean, our subsidiaries are <laughs> keeping us going, if nothing else. All right, so put you in there. Oh, they do not like it. So technically, this room fits 23 people. In reality, you can only really fit 22. So let's take let's take this sound person out and put them in here. Now, technically, I'm overbooked in here, but as long as somebody's on break, there'll be a, a free desk, right? More often than not, there will not be, you know, a person sitting with no desk. I'm over a million fans now, which is good to see. All right, and my console is ready. Hopefully, it is good. All right, so let's go Let's go with a $20 profit per unit. We'll lock in that price, so this price will go down as production costs go down. Five star, 9.1. That's a pretty good console. All right, so that was good. I Games, International Judo 3, maybe 18 million, thank you. And new handheld. So it's all tech level five stuff, <laughs> except the touch screen. So it's gonna be tech level four. That can't be helped. Or do I wanna wait? Do I wanna wait to get this better tech level five stuff? Right, maybe I will. All right, and let's get you Chair of hockey, you know what? Chair of hockey sold enough. I think we can do a paid add on for that, right? Um, what hockey and what dancing? I don't think fighting is a thing, fishing, <laughs> fitness, gambling, gladiators. I should probably just roll with ice hockey. <laughs> I don't think anything else is really going to fit with ice hockey, right? Um, I mean, I could turn it in from, from a sports game to a sports plus action. But that's a different thing altogether. All right, so let's just go chair hockey, playoff, bound. Sure. <laughs> and everything looks good there. Everything. Oh, no, we, oh, crap. I got to turn this stuff off. This stuff was off for a reason. This is only a double A size game. <laughs> Whoops. All right, so while they're doing that, that gives their marketing team something to do, right? Play up bound, TV, automatic. So let's stop bug fixing that and start bug fixing that. Perfect. So while they're not doing anything, I might as well run them through training. Actually, I might as well do commission work. And then we'll run them through training. Right? Why not? Do we win? Oh, chair hockey. Look at that. Chair hockey cleaning up. Oh, not the game of the year, though. So that game that had a 1-10% to 10 review score estimate did not... was not the worst game of the year, somehow. Sh sure. Well, whatever. <laughs> it kind of blows my mind, but it is what it is. 
All right, so they're almost done. All right, so they're polishing. They're polishing. They're bug fixing. They're, okay, so we're waiting for a sound team. So let's just continue development for a little bit. Let's wait for the sound team. Ooh, we got another game designer. Ooh, we don't have a place for a game designer. <laughs> that was stupid. Cancel task. Let's do some special marketing. Really, yeah, you know, Android 6 is where we want to be. Pre-release the press. All right. Okay, that worked. So we're just waiting for the sound team. Yep, they're polishing now. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right, so let's, yeah, let's put them in training while we get this, uh, all this, the better tech level five stuff. Like we can make, we already have tech level five for everything except screen, right? But I'd, I want to get the better tech level five stuff. That's what I'm thinking. That's where I'm at. Is there, I'm like, it takes a long time to do this though. Um, oh wow, that is, they made that really fast. Like really fast. All right, so finish development on this. Best sound score ever. So we're going to self-distribute this. Wow. 29 million development costs. Development costs are high now, man. Like, really high. Yeah, the fact that I'm not created all that engine stuff kind of is a little concerning. No, never mind. Never mind. I have no concerns. My concerns were unfounded. Clearly. Clearly unfounded concerns. All right, so let's do some quick commission work. All right, well, they do that. I have some uh, some people that aren't doing anything. Some teams, so let's get them to polish. All right, makes sense. We do game reports here. Get through that. A little action game reports doesn't really tell me much at this point. I know how to make action games already. And we need to make some copies. Both a million copies. And like 60,000... Deluxe and like 20,000 collectors, sure. And then we will set this for automatic. Nope, nope, not Lucera Hockey. Alien Androids, none of you automatically, none of you automatically. Set it for like, yeah, 150,000 as needed. Yeah, because I think this is going to sell really well. All right, so this needs hype, needs polishing. Yeah. This will be fine. Oh, so they finished that research. Ooh, there's console features too. Yeah, let's get through these before we make that handheld. So, I mean, we have a console out right now, right? Like, we don't... Ooh, and it's selling pretty well, actually. 66,000. It's pretty good. All right, so I can take... Let's take the Lucera box off. <laughs> we have three stationary consoles on the market right now. We do not need three stationary consoles on the market. Let's take the Lucera box off the market. Our oldest one. Tech level three one. You were a good console though. Oh, actually I do have room. No, I don't have room for a game person. Right. The 23. So you know what? Let's just uh let's just sell this desk so I'm not tempted to hire anybody in here. So yeah, so they're all polishing, so I don't want to commit this team to anything right now. You know what I mean? That's kind of where I'm at. Um so let's do special marketing. Put playoff bound. Do a beta demo. Also pre-release for the press. That should be good. I don't think I want to overhype it though, probably. I don't think that's a good idea. Old Hulk of Pilot, 180,000. I'll take it. Alright, so let's do an update. Brandon Android 6. We know this game's going to be good, or I hope it's going to be good. Oh, yeah, it's selling over 100000 per week. That's a good sign. That's a really good sign. Yeah. We're good. That's, yeah, I'm happy with that. All right, so what's the development report say here? Still only 60 to 80, huh? Huh. That's kind of disappointing, honestly. Even with all the polishing we're doing weird oh well 
how's this training come? Because a lot of them don't benefit from the training, right? Actually, it went at a decent pace. All right, so now the question is, do I want to wait for this? I probably should. Um, what other engines could use an update? Ooh, maybe build. Building is the trend for another 75 weeks. Could we blast through a building game really quickly? Possibly. Might be able to. If I only go double A, I probably could. But do I really want to be making double A games at this point? I guess it depends how many features I need to cut, right? All right, so first Fantasy Dwarven Ruins lost 3.7 million. But I mean, sold 123,000 which are goes. Estimated. I don't think that was worth it. So yeah, console exclusives are... They seem pretty risky. <laughs> they seem pretty, pretty risky. All right, so neither one of my marketing teams are doing anything right now. Let's get that Luchara Go hyped back up, shall we? One TV spot should be good. Yeah, I'm a little... I don't like the fact that this is still only 60 to 80, even after all the polishing I've done. Right? Like, I've done a lot of polishing. I might as well just keep polishing so that I don't have... <laughs> so I don't have idle rooms, right? Another 3 million? Yeah, see, look. All kinds of money in the bank. This is the part point in the game where it just gets easy, right? All right, so that is done. So let's grab hardware. I'm not going to wait, though, for this graphics. For the graphics and sound cards. Let's go tech level 5. Handheld. Beautiful. I assume this is the best thing. Nope, that's better. Let's just check. And yeah, we know the graphics and sound are the best. I'm pretty sure there's two uh, for each thing. Like, there's two sound chips for each tech level. So there'll be two sound level 5, or level 5 sound chips, right? Luchara, go advanced. Yeah, so this will be tech level 4, so that'll be good. Okay, we got case level 5. Let's make this color. Can be connected to the internet. Let's throw in what? What do we want to throw in here? Where's bad? Third Fantasy. Throw Third Fantasy in there. It's an oldie but a goodie. I have no idea why. Why would I do Third Fantasy? There's newer games in that series. Right? Um, let's go review result. Alright, so what's my best game? Alien Androids 4. Let's go Fourth Fantasy. At least it's not quite as old. <laughs> 1987. No, that's pretty old. Fifth Fantasy, 1990. When have I made a sixth fantasy? God, I just I just stopped making RPGs at some point. Yeah, let's go put fifth fantasy in there. I'm not sure why. <laughs> it's a literally a like twelve year old game at this point. I'm sure people will love to get that. All right, so let's market the crap out of this console. There we go, advance. Let's just do TV spots, whatever. And we're just waiting for them to finish this engine, and then we'll make a new game. Question is, what genre of game should we make? Or should I just bite the bullet and do the thing that I know people want me to do? In case you're wondering, I mean make an MMO. What's that? You want me to make an MMO? Let me know in the comments. No, don't bother. I know you want me to. All right, so we're going to make an MMO next episode. This episode... We did not. This All I did, one game, one game per episode. Apparently that's where I'm at now. But hey, remember how I said, wow, that was really expensive to make, this game? And it was. But it's already profitable. Which is kind of crazy. Alright, so let's, um, let's do a demo. Wait. Did we do? Play up bound. Okay, we did a previous press. Never mind. Never mind. All right. Um, yeah, so let's, uh, let's finish development on this. Still only 60 to 80. Publisher can have it. Um, Code Kings. Do we have one with, with sports? That's the thing. Maybe I should be trying to get one of each type. Right? Like, see, let's see if we can buy 
Let's see if we can buy user gold here. Oh, no, that's not what we want to do. <laughs> here we go. Where is, or, or micro arts. Either one would do, or any, any of these. 189 million, that's a lot. <laughs> 144, that's a little less. But do I really want to publish with a four star company? I mean, I could, I could bump them up to five stars. That's expensive, right? It's a uh, it's hundred million. I only have 137 million in the bank. <laughs> I feel like I should probably not do that because MMOs are expensive to make. So let's publish this through who? I guess they have sports. But they're only three star. So let's go with Lucas, I guess. No, you know what? Let's just go with one of our, our five mark strength people. Whatever. It's fine. <laughs> It's fine. Everything's fine. This better be closer to 80. Okay. 80. Okay. That's fine. That's good. All right. So that's going to be all for this episode. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Next episode, we're going to do the thing. We are going to make and MMO. Oh, look at that. 28 million right off the hop. <laughs> right? That's what I was talking about. Like, it's basically 28 million more than a standard game. Now, I will. it'll make its money back. MMOs are good money makers. Um, but yeah, that's why I didn't want to spend $100 million <laughs> upgrading the market string, right? Because then I wouldn't have enough money to make an MMO. And then everybody would be mad at me. Lou just said you were going to make an MMO and you didn't make an MMO. You're a liar. I hate you. Something like that anyway. Anyway, hit that like button. Subscribe. Be good to each other. Have a great day. I will see you in the next one where we make an MMO. Did I mention I'm going to make an MMO next episode? Because I think I'm going to make an MMO next episode. MMO. I just want to say MMO one more time. MMO, RPG, let's go. Bye.